Hello there and welcome to Stop Stressing Strangers. This is episode number 780 of my Sales Secret Series. I'm getting there, right? I'm working on getting to a thousand. So with your help, I'll be delighted to get there. My name is Peter Beckett, I'm the Village Marketer, and yesterday we're talking about Stop Stressing Strangers. In other words, this. We all work bloody hard to build our reputations, right? It's important to us. And why is it important? It's because it's the thing that attracts people to us. If we didn't have a reputation in our business, then no one's going to do business with us. So why in the heck do we put our reputation at risk all the time? What I'm talking about is this. If you've had some business conversations with people and you need to, to to have another conversation with them, then there's certain terms that you should never ever use when you are contacting them again. And these are what they are. And do me a favor, take them out of your vocabulary once and for all. I'm just calling you on following up, right? Or I'm just checking in. Or I'm just touching base with you. Or I'm just checking out. Or I'm just making sure. I mean, all these things are classic things of you trying to push people forward to make a darn decision so you can get a sale, right? Right? Because that's what it is. But you know what? What you're putting at risk is your reputation. And in fact, if you push, push, push people, your reputation is down the chute. There's no trust anymore and there's no resonance with you anymore. All they've got now with, with you is stress and strain and struggle and strife. That's what you represent to them. Even though you may have the intentions of doing the right thing with them, as soon as she got on the phone and said, look, I'm just following up, they're thinking, oh my God, what's he want this time, right? So instead of that, don't use that terminology, right? You want to keep the conversation open. You don't want them to be defensive, right? So what you need to do is this. I'm just calling Fred to get your thoughts on the thing we spoke about last time. Or Mary, I'm just calling you to get your feedback on the proposal we sent you. Right, your thoughts on, your feedback on, right? Can you see the difference in the two? Because that opens the conversation even more. And it allows them to share with you what really is going on, okay? In other words, move your customer journey very slowly at their pace. Don't keep push, 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 pushing them, all right? Or you will lose trust, you'll lose resonance, and you create stress. Your key is to dig deeper with them. And if you can get them to open up even more to you, don't expect them to tell you the truth the first time around, because they won't. We don't do that, right? We're not cut out to do that. But when people are genuinely listening to us, and they, we can sense and feel that they want to help us, then we will open up, but it takes time for us to do that, all right? And when we open up, guess what you get? You then get to the truth, and you then can clarify, no, we don't. You can then clarify with them what is the real issues they're challenging and get them to own the darn thing. And when they own it, guess what? They will probably want to sort it out. And because you help them clarify, you're in the right position to be the person who can help them sort it out. So then you simply empower them. Once they've got to that point, you empower them. You don't say, I've got a solution for you. Oh, wow, Mary. Listen, I want you to check this out. Go and see this video. Do this, do that. Okay? Don't do that. Empower them. Keep them in control. And all you simply say to them is something like this. Mary. What would you like to do next? Or, Harry, where would you like to go from here? You are putting the ball in their court. You are empowering them to make the decision. They will come to you seeking help and guidance because you're doing that very thing. Can you see where I'm coming from? All right? So stop pursuing. Stop presenting. Stop persuading people and do it this way. That's my message for you today. I hope you get some value from that. Now, if you want to know how to hold five, five, right, enjoyable, fun conversations with potential customers every single day, 
go to peterbeckenham.com forward slash persuading. Sorry, <laughs> persuading. <laughs> peterbeckenham.com, that's a goodie. peterbeckenham.com forward slash engaging. E-N-G-A-G-I-N-G. -G -G. Definitely not persuading, eh? peterbeckenham.com forward slash engaging. Thanks for your attention and thanks for your your support of the series I'm doing and best wishes for Thailand. See you next time. Bye for now.